Supreme and Nike are collaborating for week two, releasing this upcoming Thursday, September 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can calculate what that will be for you. As far as the collection goes, though, it consists of five pieces coming in a handful of different colorways and is heavily influenced by retro Nike pieces. To start things off, we have this reversible ripstop anorak, and right off the bat, I'm not crazy about the kind of mesh or like net pattern that they have underneath it because this is more of a transparent piece. It's very thin, especially on that white or like baby blue colorway. You can see through it pretty easily. I'm um, looking at the lookbook pictures anyway. And then obviously the other colorways are a little bit darker. Now this is reversible. So on one side, you're gonna get a contrasting pocket except for the black colorway because you know it's black on black. But then you have branding, you get the little Nike swoosh. And I do like the red tab that they have. Uh, obviously not used on all the colorways. Once again, the black is just black on black. Then flipped over to the back and you're gonna get the big Nike spell out along with the Nike swoosh. And then going down the hood, vertically you're going to get supreme spelt out and they've done this before on like just original supreme jackets with this spell out maybe not with the two like skunk stripes or whatever you want to call it and then you flop it over to the reversed version and you get a supreme spell out across the chest as well as the nike swoosh which almost looks like it might be coming in the like gel insert style moving on we have the pants that match also reversible they're the rip stop pant and you know i'm just not crazy about this material though i will say the material might only be used for the one like reversible side and then you flop it over it does look like it's less of a transparent material so at least it has that going for it but you get the little nike swoosh on your thigh and then uh, on the back you're going to get the same vertical supreme spell out this time no lines and then on your butt you're going to get the contrasting square just like they had on the chest of the jacket following suit the reversed version is just like the jacket you get the little supreme spell out and then the nike swoosh which really looks like it might be that gel insert and then this also matches the three colorways we saw before we got that baby blue the like red and orange and then black on black next up we have by far my least favorite piece this is the stripe soccer jersey i think this is gross you just got the supreme spell out and then the little nike swoosh a bunch of stripes on it i, I, I don't know maybe if they would have gone more athletic with this put like some uh branding on it like a, a shield that had supreme integrated with it somehow or like a number on it even i just think this is too bland and I'm, I just don't like it at all. Next up, we have the Jewel Crew Neck, and I think this is a lot of people's favorite piece from the collection. Personally, my favorite piece, you know, I like this. There's nothing really wrong for it. I just can't really justify spending this much money for a piece that is just pretty much Nike. Like you could find this in the thrift or something, it seems like. Um, almost reminiscent of something that would be like an old bootleg Nike, which, you know, once again, could be said for a lot of the Supreme Nike collaborations we've been seeing in the past years. Um, they definitely, go towards this kind of like almost bootleg aesthetic or style that they're using but that being said we just got the supreme spell out and then below it you have this like gel insert swoosh almost looking like it's made out of the like nike bubble stuff and the last item we have are the sweat shorts which of course match the sweat shirts coming in the same colorways and then pretty much the same brand and you just have supreme and then that little swoosh and that's really it for the collection you know i, I once again I think these aren't necessarily bad pieces. There's nothing wrong with subtle branding, but personally how I kind of like view Supreme, unless it's an interesting silhouette or you know something kind of cool in that manner, I, it's hard for me to justify spending um, the price point that they charge on a piece just when it's like so like minimalistic branding, you know, it's not a cool silhouette or not a crazy colorway. It's like, I don't really need this normal piece just because it says Supreme. Yes, the quality will probably be pretty good, but for that price, it's not that good. That's really all I wanted to cover for this video, but I will brush over what else is dropping this week. We have all this kind of garbage, in my opinion, dropping. Uh, probably most notable is the S logo, which is made up of a bunch of tiny box logos. At first, when I saw this, I thought it was kind of cool, but it's definitely not growing on me. Like the more I see it, the less I like it. I just don't think it's that great. Maybe you'll have some resell though. I don't know. Probably the coolest thing though, in my opinion, are these folding chairs. They're kind of cool. They got the Supreme branding on the back. Then you also have the flask. But other than that, really just nothing too great dropping. So that's pretty much it for this week. Let me know what you guys think of the Nike collaboration. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.